You are welcome to another video of the course F5 Big IP LTM. In this section, I'm going to discuss and configure active active high availability in F5 Big IP devices. In this method, different Big IP devices are active for different applications, but at the same time, all Big IP devices are forwarding and processing traffic. To start implementing active active HA configuration, in the first step we have to configure two traffic groups in the section device management and traffic group. The first traffic group is automatically created in the active assembly HA configuration. In the traffic group one, we give big IP one as the first priority and big IP two as the second priority failover using preferred device order and then load ever and then save then we create a second traffic group with the name of traffic group 2 which the priority is the opposite then create traffic group 2 and the priority big ip2 has the first priority and big ip1 has the second priority and then create traffic group now two traffic groups are created in the first one big ip 2 is active and big ip 1 is a standby in the second is opposite big ip 1 is active and big ip 2 is a standby which is still not initialized then for each traffic group and data interface we create a dedicated floating ip address which will be used to route traffic through active big ip device according to the design in the section self ip ip address 10 1 and 2 11 Assigned to the traffic group one, which has to which has to be changed here, delete, and then for the external interface for traffic group two, the IP address two eleven in the external interface and traffic group one, and finish. And the subnet mask S-24. And the, for the second traffic group, 10.2 and 2.12. Floating IP address will be assigned to the traffic group 2, 192, 168, 10.2, with a mask S-24. And for the internal, both for the second traffic group and repeat 192, 168, 2 to 12 for the external but the second traffic group and finish. So in the traffic group 1, 10, 1 and for the external interface in traffic group 1, 2, 11 is configured as we have designed here and for the second traffic group 10 2 and 2 12 2 12 and 10 2 for the internal and external interfaces in traffic group 2 are configured we must not forget to configure the gateway ip address of the servers behind big ip to the corresponding floating IP address, I've already configured the IP, the gateway IP address of the servers 1 and server 2 belonging to the first application to 10 1 and the gateway IP address of server 3 belonging to the second application to 10 2 which are floating IP address of the internal interface in traffic group 2, traffic group 1 and traffic group let's check and make sure that they are correctly configured in the server 1 10 
one is the gateway IP address as you can see in the server 2 10 one is configured as the IP address as the gateway IP address and in server 3 10 two is configured as the gateway IP address all the changes are configured in only one big IP device and will be synchronized to the other device up to now all the configurations are done in the big IP one so I will synchronize to the big IP two from big IP one to big IP two and now they are synchronized to create application services on F5 big IP device which is the next step we first create server nodes including all three nodes in the local traffic section and nodes and server one with the IP address 10 111 and repeat 112 for server 2 repeat and server 3 113 and finished now we have three servers server 1 2 and 3 with the IP address 10 111 12 and 13 then we create two pools one for HTTP service including the first two servers and one for SSH service including the third server so in the section pool we create HTTP HTTP underline pool with the monitoring TCP and not least the first two HTTP add and the second server add and repeat and for the SSH underline pool we add server 3 the third node but with the service SSH add and finished now we have two pools HTTP pool and SSH pool the members of the HTTP pools are two first servers which are green and the members of the SSH pool is the third server which is also green and finally we create two virtual application services one with the IP address 2101 including HTTP pool and the other with the IP address 2102 including SSH pool in the section virtual servers app 1 underline virtual underline server and for the destination 2101 with the service HTTP and pool the second the first HTTP pool and repeat for the second application up to virtual server with the IP address 2102 with the service SSH and pool the second pool SSH pool and finished and now there are two application services are created as we have designed in the topology 2101 with the service HTTP 2102 with the service SSH to ensure that traffic from one application goes through the first big IP device and traffic from the second application goes through the second big IP device we assign the virtual server app 1 to traffic group 1 and virtual server app 2 to traffic group 2 through the virtual server and virtual, uh, virtual address list in 2101 is already assigned to traffic group 1 and 2102 we will assign to traffic group 2 and so two applications now are assigned to 
different traffic groups. Now F5 Active Active HA configuration is completed and ready to be tested. I want to make sure that traffic to the first application goes over a big IP and traffic to the second application goes over other big IP. We create two connections with two applications, one to the IP address 2101 with the port 80 and the second with the IP address 2102 with the port SSH. Let's open and also open VMware VMware and then we check the active connections in the big IP devices to ensure that they are working properly as expected in the first show sys connections and then grep 22 there is here and AT should not be here but in the big IP2 in the opposite side show sys connection for grep 22 does not exist but for the port 80 must exist let's create the connection again here does not exist I forget to apply the configuration to the second big IP device that's not uh, still synchronized. So first I have to synchronize the configuration. And then I can check. Now it's working. And I will try again to the connections. And here I can again check the connection to port 80 port 80 is in this device and port 22 check again 22 is not here but 22 must be in this section you see the port connection the connection to port 22 is the big IP one and connection to port 80 should be in other device 80 is not here 80 but here 22 is not here in the other device but this the connection port 22 so traffic from one application goes through one big IP device and traffic from the second application is forwarded through the other big IP device.